Hey guys, welcome back to another Gears of War 3 action figure review. Today I'll be reviewing Damon Baird. Uh, yet another member of the Delta Squad, and he is part of the Series 1. He includes the Retro Lancer, and I will now show you the back of the box. There, you, there is the bio. Pause it if you want to read it. At the bottom here, you can see is the other figures included on the line or series, and the background there is a picture from of the figure. Inside, another picture of him. Picture from the game in front, and another picture of him yawning. Alright, so now we're out onto the figure. The face sculpt is pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, tension to detail is very nice, lots of wrinkles and generally just looks good. So did the goggles on the top of the head. Detail all around is good. Well of course it's gonna be good, it's neck but duh. There's the retro lancer, I'll give you a closer look at that in a minute. And you can see there, there are some tools, and these do come out. Uh, just some like screwdriver things. Give you a close up of those in a second as well, and they all come out. Like so. On the back, there's the hole where the gun would go. On the side, some more detail, some uh, shotgun shells. Articulation, the head's on a ball joint, got that new swivel going on there. Ball joint at elbows, no it's not, ball joint at shoulders, swivel, shoulders, double jointed shoulders, swivel hands, ball jointed body, legs go like that and that. Knees on a ball joint as well, and the feet swivel, and the toes also on a swivel. Now a closer look at the weapons and accessories. Alright, so here we have the Retro Lancer, very nicely detailed. It's got some blood and bits on the on the spike. Uh, the uh, tools. It's like a screwdriver, and and then a different screwdriver. Oh, they don't. These two don't really hold in their hands very well. But the uh, this thing, whatever you want to call that, uh, holding his hand quite well. Quite well. It's a nice added detail, which I think makes a lot of difference to the figure. Alright guys, thanks for watching. So, this definitely is a good figure. It cost £15, but it can depend on where you're buying it from. Definitely worth looking out for as well. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all next time.